Welcome to the first lesson for trombones only. This lesson, we need to learn how to take the instrument out and put it together the right way so that we can do this safely every single time. So to start, put your case on the floor in front of you. Don't put it on a table. Don't put it on a chair. It can fall off by accident and it breaks into a million pieces. I've seen it happen. Put it on the floor. Now when you look at the case, you should have a handle facing towards you and there should also be some latches facing towards you. There's also usually a logo on the case and that logo is going to be on the top. So if the logo is facing the ceiling, then you know it's going to open up the right way. If it's not, then you open it up backwards and pieces will fall out as soon as you lift the cover. So make sure you have everything facing the right way. With the case in front of you, go ahead and undo the latches that you probably have to lift up to open, and you probably have three of them on the case. So undo all three of them, and carefully and slowly open up the case and look inside. You'll see that there's the main section, which is the bell, and then the other section is the slide. And that's really it. You probably have a mouthpiece and some accessories in a little part of the case as well, but we don't need those yet. To take out these two pieces, you might have to undo some sort of latch that holds them in place. So go ahead and undo those and carefully take out each of those two pieces and stand up holding them in your hands. Now, we want to be holding the bell section in your left hand and the slide in your right hand. So stand up and hold the bell section so that it's sitting to your left and that the big bell is closer to you. There's a little hole on the other end that should face away from you. Your right hand is going to hold the slide. And if you look at the slide, you'll see that one end is shorter and another end is longer. The longer side should be facing you. So stand like this with the slide in your right hand and the bell in your left hand. Put the slide on the ground, let it rest there just like this. Take the bell section and by the other small end that's not the bell, that's going to go on the longer end of the slide that's closer to you and it's going to sit right on it, and that's sitting right on the ground, right in front of you, just like this. When you get that, take it off, put them by your side, and we're gonna practice this again because this is new, and you need to know how to do it the right way every single time. So, the slide goes out in front of you, take the bell section, make the longer part of the slide meet up with the bell, and let it sit right there. With this resting on the ground, you'll notice that you can turn the slide section and the bell section and make it closer together or farther apart. Take two fingers and put them right on the edge of the bell and that should be the amount of space to keep between the slide and the bell. If it's out too far, then your fingers won't touch each other. If it's in too close, then you don't have enough room to put your fingers in between. So we have to find a good midpoint in between. With it still on the floor, twist this screw that locks it in place. Now, the hands. What do we do with the hands? Take your left hand and hold it out like this with your thumb up and your other fingers together. The thumb is going to go right here on this bar and the rest of your fingers go inside of this box, except for your first finger, which is going to rest right here below that open hole. For your right hand, we're going to take two fingers and put them under this brace and your thumb on top of it. That's it, just your two fingers and thumb. And it doesn't go in the middle or up here, it goes all the way down, right where this corner meets. Two fingers, thumb. We don't want an entire fist, just two fingers, thumb. Let's practice that. Take the hand away, bring it back. Two fingers, all the way down, thumb. 
And let's practice that left hand again. Bring the hand down, your thumb goes over this brace, all the fingers go inside the box, except for your first finger, which goes right here. Right hand, two fingers down there, thumb on top. And now you're ready to pick it up and it's automatically going to come to where you want it to. Now on your slide, there's a little lock right here. And when it's locked, you can't move the slide and that's to help prevent it from falling out by accident. So what we're gonna do is in your left hand, take your pinky and always keep it down under there. Just in case the slide lock ever comes undone and your pinky will always be able to hold it and catch it so it doesn't fall out on its own. If it does that, it can fall down on the ground and break and we definitely don't want that. So when that stays up, your pinky goes under there as just an extra little bit of security. So unlock the slide lock so that the slide can move and let's just get used to this feeling. Your pinky isn't going to hold it anymore because we're going to let it go out but your right hand with two fingers and thumb are going to let it push out and come back in. And be really careful of what's around you and what's in front of you, especially a music stand in front of you or your neighbor sitting next to you. You never ever want to bang or hit this slide. This is the most fragile part of the instrument. And if it gets a dent in it, then it's no good. It has to go back to the music store and get fixed. Hold the trombone up. We're going to put the mouthpiece in here eventually, but not yet. So that's where the mouthpiece goes. And with your thumb, push the slide out. And with your two fingers, pull it back. So as you go out, the thumb pushes it and the fingers catch it. And then the fingers bring it back. So you're almost like throwing it and catching it. Throwing it and catching it. Try that a few times until it gets really nice and comfortable. Go out as far as you can reach and then come all the way back in. A lot of beginning players like to hold this with a fist or hold it the right way but lock their wrist so it doesn't really go very fluidly. We want to just trust yourself and trust that your hand is going to catch it when you throw it out with your thumb. And as you're trying that, just try to use your wrist as much as possible and keep it as loose and relaxed and fluid as you can. Now we have to really make sure that you know how to do all this. So rest it on the ground like we did and we're going to take it apart, put it away and then take it out and put it back together. So it's sitting on the floor in front of you like this. You're going to first unscrew the bell section from the slide section. Put your left hand on the bell section and your right hand on the slide and go ahead and untwist them so that they come apart into two pieces again. Still holding them with the bell in your left hand and the slide in your right hand. Very carefully, we're going to put them back into the case in the same spot. And then carefully bring the top of the case over to the bottom of the case and then close the latches that you have. And that is how you put the trombone away. Go through that same process again of taking it out. Remember, your left hand holds the bell with the big part, the bell part facing in, and then your right hand holds the slide with the taller end facing towards you. Put the slide on the ground, bring the bell piece on top, line them up, Use your two fingers in between the bell and the slide to measure how far apart they should be. Tighten the bell section onto the slide section. Bring your left hand, thumb over this bar. Fingers go into the box, except for your first finger, which goes right here. In your right hand, two fingers below this brace on the bottom, thumb on top. Bring it up, and that's how we hold it. Find the mouthpiece in your case, and all we're going to do is put it in the open hole that we had been putting near our mouth. And that's just going to sit in, twist it to the right a little bit, and it's all the way in. Now, when you're holding the trombone, we want a lot of the weight of the instrument 
to be sitting on your palm right here. A lot of beginning players will try to hold it with their right arm or their left arm or try to do something weird and make wings. We're just gonna stand up nice and relaxed and naturally and bring it up and let your hand look very comfortable and natural as the trombone rests in it. Your left hand holds all the weight of the instrument. The right hand, as you know, is just for moving the slide, but it's your left hand that holds this instrument up, whether it's on the ground or whether it's up ready to play. 